Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is your boy, your man, your YouTuber, Jack McCarthy. And today, I'll be doing the latest reaction to That's Amazing 2 video. This this is the they're behind the scenes of the 50 trick shots that they were doing from half court. And it's titled, I Got Threatened by a Rattlesnake. Because they probably had a rattlesnake encounter while they were doing the trick shots. Alright, before I begin with this video, make sure you click that subscribe button and the little bell. So you never, ever, 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 ever miss out any updates or other videos such as this. And remember, don't forget to check out the people people that created this that's amazing and that's amazing too these kids are legendary and they do make awesome videos okay without further ado let the reaction to i got threatened by a rattlesnake by that's amazing Two begin oh so close oh they did a lot oh that not the camera oh Ah, some really loud hiss. I'm just too scared to really go look and investigate. Yeah. Oh. First try. Oh. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the behind the scenes for our oh. 50 ways to score half or job video. Stay oh. Until the end. If you want to see me get threatened by an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake, first, I'm going to talk about actually making the video, which was a lot more difficult than we thought. Since we filmed the entire video on a trip to Florida, we had a pretty tight schedule. Oh, Florida. We probably about four to six hours a day making these trick shots and still almost didn't finish by the time we left. One of the hardest trick shots we made was the exercise ball shot, and that was actually very difficult because we ordered the exercise ball online, opened it in Florida, only to realize that it was a weighted exercise ball, so it was very heavy to carry. Oh, that almost took his head off. Ah, that was always a difficult shot. Oh! Second is the behind the back shot. Wow! Don't blame yourself. We're all made you for something. My arm hurts kind of bad. It's not a comfortable thing to do. Another difficult one was the collision in midair. It's so unpredictable. I actually didn't think we were going to score it, and I was ready to give up. Oh. Yeah. Oh! oh that technically that counts. Crazy. Who got the assist on that one? Me or Tommy? Wait. Technically, I scored it. So if you've been following our channel for like five years, you could remember possibly the Tesmore Chipper. This is the Tesmore Chipper. Nope. We brought that back into this video. Ah. Ah. You guys are gonna be very surprised to hear which one was actually the hardest, and that was the bounce shot. I know. Probably like that didn't look oh. too hard. And it wasn't really, I guess. I just got super unlucky and I literally hit the rim 50 times before it went in. Oh, 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 Forty-eight, forty-nine. So still trying the shot, and I am super sore. I could barely even stand at that point. Yeah. Shot in the video. Believe it or not, don't underestimate that shot. Like I say, don't underestimate it. Or any shot. Oh come on! How did the bolo not pop? You popped the bolo, but you missed the hoop. Oh. oh, so close. Off. I didn't oh. Film. oh. Check out my arms. Look at this bird ass. Ay, ay, ay. Ba la 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 la. Ah. 
Oh, so close. This bird, we've heard from someone around here that it's a vicious attacking bird. Just went onto our court. Uh, at least one went in. Nope. Ah. Raccoon. We somehow managed to score all 50 half court shots by the end of the trip. However, we decided to redo one where I stood on a ladder because you couldn't actually see the ladder in the video. Huh. The only problem was it was 10 o'clock at night and we were leaving at 5.30 in the morning the next day. We still had a ton of stuff to pack so we had barely any time to actually make a trick shot. So my dad and I arrived to the park. We're the only ones there. We set up the ladder. I try to score the shot as quickly as I can. Miss a few times. One of my shots goes up. Air balls and falls into these bushes behind the basketball hoop. So I'm going to run to get the ball. My dad stops the camera. This is where it all happens. It's really dark behind the basketball hoop, so I can't see much. And I go bend over to pick up the ball. And as I'm bending over, I hear this really loud noise coming from within a few feet of me. And I'm not kidding when I say it was about probably this close. That's what it sounded like. I don't know for sure because I didn't see it. I thought it was a bug in the bush next to me. And I was bent over, so it was like this far away from my head, honestly. And my dad, who's all the way at half court, could hear the noise. And he was way back from where it actually was. So I grab the ball and I leave. And I get to back to half court and the sound stops. My dad says, did you hear that noise? And I said, yeah, I thought it was a really loud bug. He thought it was the sprinkler system turning on. But there were no sprinklers over there. That was not just a really loud bug. We both agreed that I just shouldn't airball the trick shot. Literally just hit the backboard of the rim every time. And guess what I do? I literally airball the next shot, but it bounces off the pole. And it thankfully bounces back so I don't have to go to the bushes again. So I grab the ball. Make the shot a few tries later, and again, yes. a bit of grabbing to run back into those bushes. We're ready to leave, but I said, okay, for our second channel, let's go out and film these bushes. So this is the video we filmed. We came out here to the basketball court late at night, like 10 o'clock. I shot an air ball. The ball went over into these bushes. There was some really loud hiss, and I have no idea what it was. Alligator, snake, who knows? I'm just too scared to really go look and investigate. After that video, we looked around the bushes for about 30 more seconds, but we didn't see anything because it was very dark. We decided to leave because we had to go pack and leave the next day. As we got back to our place we were staying, I looked up what are the most common snakes in Florida. And the first option shown was the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. So then I looked up what is the sound of an Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, and it sounded exactly like the sound I heard. Oh boy. And it honestly gave me goosebumps when I heard yeah. that. Yeah, you don't F with because rattlesnakes. The that I watched that most matches the sound that I heard was when someone picked up a rattlesnake and was very angry. Keep in mind, this is the most venomous snake in the United States. Then I decided to no check the video that I found. I'm not making this up. I noticed what looks like it could be an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake behind me. Oh you God. guys have to comment below and tell me what you think. Because it's too blurry to really know for sure. Well, it kind of matches story. the skin Not color of an Eastern cool Diamondback that. rattlesnake. And plus, it does make that sound. I don't know how close they were, but still, it did kind of match the col color. So I would say maybe it was kind of close to an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake, or maybe it was just a strongly coincidence with the bushes and everything. But other than that, that was a very nice behind the scenes and a very shocking near death experience. But rattlesnakes are definitely very venomous. I've seen lots of Animal Planet shows about snakes, alligators. My favorite show show about alligators was the Gator Boys. You know, them wrestling alligators. My other favorite show, but not on Animal Planet, on History Channel, it was about alligator hunting. My favorite was Troy. Alligator Jumbo Llama! Uh, I love I love hunting more than I love you know wrestling and saving. J just an honest opinion. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video to that's amazing too. M like, subscribe, click the little bell, comment down below on what you would like for me to react to too, and don't forget check out that's amazing too and their other channel channel and stay tuned for more of my reactions. Jack McCartney signing off. El bio. -y.